is recording all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and today we are going to discuss this uh, transit of mars mangal which is happening currently in the sign of pisces and i'm recording this video on 20th mars has already entered 2 3 days back and he's going to stay here for some quite a long time all right so he's going to stay here for almost uh dikpanchang.com says 18th august so if you check on 18th august he is uh, entering zero degree of aries okay all right so i don't know if this screen share was visible but let me just uh, minimize this hopefully you can see this now yeah. so this this is uh, 18th august 2020 and zero degree aries now uh, generally mars stays for 40 45 days now uh, but why this transit is two month long because uh, this is the transit before retrogression okay and mars is slowing down he will be retrograde somewhere uh, later i don't remember the date but i guess it's in september so therefore uh, when a planet is about to go retrograde it slows down it becomes stationary and then it gets retrograde that's why this transit is quite long all right so there you go today uh, many of you have asked me that i always keep saying uh, the houses which mars rules in your chart you know they will undergo different flavors and uh the houses where it is transiting will be you know, the area in which it manifests all right but many of you told me that uh, it's very difficult for you to understand how that can manifest so could you please uh, explain with an example all right so therefore this is the transit chart of uh, today 20th june and uh, today if you see uh, any ascendant you can take so let's take for this capricorn ascendant okay so today uh, moon and venus are in um, fifth house for capricorn and then mars is in pisces okay in the third house he rules the fourth and the 11th all right so today we shall discuss and you can use this similar technique to uh, check what is going on in your horoscope also all right and before we discuss this you should always understand that Uh, ultimately what is there in your dashas will happen so if you are running mars mahadasha or antar dasha or jupiter mahadasha or antar dasha then this transit is very important for you why because um jupiter is the lord of pisces where mars is going okay and before that let's discuss what this transit is all about okay so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can go to my website below uh, and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him mm -hmm. so mars is the planet of fire aggression passion anger when badly placed and determination when good uh, well placed okay so <clears throat> what is pisces so pisces is the original 12th sign okay so whenever a planet transits pisces uh, you will always get a feeling that the houses which that planet rules that is coming to an end or you could say you know that a new beginning is required regarding those houses okay so uh, why does this happen because uh, pisces is the original 12th sign in the kalpurush kundali okay aries lagna so therefore uh 12th house shows uh things which end basically okay or 12th house can also show things uh which uh you feel that you have lost okay so if your dasha is good then you may feel that oh this is ending and something new is beginning okay but if your dasha is not very good in some area of your life you may feel that oh i lost this particular thing i lost this uh area of my life okay so that that will decide uh, what kind of a feeling will you get when a planet transits pisces so also uh, when a planet trans transits pisces you will get a feeling that um, this is for any planet okay you can check yourself you will get a feeling that uh, you have tried enough but there are certain things which you uh, which are beyond your control actually okay which you have to let go and let 
uh, your karma, your destiny, God and universe, let them decide. Okay? So therefore, uh, currently Mars is transiting in Pisces. So regarding the houses which Mars rules, so here depending on your ascendant, if you check uh, for Capricorn, it's 4th house and 11th house. Okay, So things related to 4th house and 11th house can get that kind of a feeling. Or if your dasha is very bad, then you can get a feeling if a planet transits Pisces that you forcefully need to end something because Pisces is ending. Okay, because then it enters Aries, which is new, which is creation. Okay, Aries is a sign of creation. So therefore, it will depend on your dashas. What what kind of a feeling do you get exactly? Okay, so just because Mars is transiting Pisces, it doesn't mean it will it will be bad or it's going to be great. Okay. So suppose uh, uh, if Mars is ruling uh, your 10th house, for example, okay, let's uh, take Cancer Ascendant and suppose you are running the Dasha of Mars. So is that, um, uh, because for Cancer, he's the 10th Lord and he will be transiting in the 9th house. Okay. So if you're running Mars Dasha, because uh, Mars is the 10th Lord, uh, so then it can give you a lot of new jobs and promotions. So then it can happen that uh, you get a feeling that now I should search for a new job and now I should uh, or you already have a new job and you are planning to join that new job. Okay, so this is how it can happen. But suppose Mars is, uh, I mean, if your dasha is not good, okay, then uh, you might feel that something is taken away from you. You have been stripped of something. Okay, you are being, uh, you are forcefully taken away from something or um, so it can also mean that uh, some things which you uh, wanted to control too much, that thing is not there with you anymore. Okay, so this is how you have to see the transit when a planet transits uh, Pisces. So uh, before you make a blanket statement, oh, this is good or bad, and you know, blah blah blah, you have to see what kind of a dasha you are running because the dashas will change the nature of uh, it doesn't change uh, sorry it will give you the flavor of the transits okay uh, but we do the opposite we check the transits and we check the dashas no it doesn't work like that okay you you have to first check your dashas and then you have to check the transits all right i am emphasizing this again and again from many decades <laughs> all right so <clears throat> Now, uh, let's assume uh, this person who is a Capricorn Lagna is running, uh, I mean, uh, the purpose of this video is to give you an understanding of how to see transits, okay? So, therefore, uh, let's assume this person is uh, a Capricorn Ascendant and this person is running uh, Venus Mahadasha, okay? Venus Mahadasha. Now, Whenever it comes to transit of Mars, the 10th house is very important because Mars gets Digbali there. Okay? He obtains directional strength. So if you are by default running the Dasha of the 10th of a planet in 10th or the 10th floor, then it can happen that uh, Mars transits are very important for you. So therefore, do not ignore transit of Mars when it comes to career. Okay? So so let's take an example uh, this person is uh, let's take this chart itself okay so let's imagine a fancy world where this person is born today or let's imagine uh, this person was born 50 years back and he had this exact same chart okay how would it uh, result in his case and we also have the eclipse today right so the eclipse is here tomorrow moon will join maybe by the time when you see and then it will be the eclipse in sixth hour. Okay, so now let's take this example. So suppose this person is running Venus Mahadasha. So Venus is the 10th Lord, 5th Lord. 5th house can show promotions, it can show demotions. Okay, when the 5th house is connected with the 8th or 12th, then it can show demotions. And when it is connected with the 10th and 11th, it can show promotions. So now for uh, Capricorn Lagna, Venus is Yoka. And Venus is very well placed here. Okay, this is a transit chart, but we are assuming this is a normal chart for a normal human being. Okay, and uh, Venus Mahadasha is going on. Okay, so uh, now you need to see uh, where these transits are happening. So, which houses does uh, Venus rule? Uh, Mars rule uh, here in the fourth house and eleventh house. So, again, the eleventh house is somehow indicated. 
and the fifth house is indicated and the tenth house is in you. So that means uh, there is some likelihood of promotion during this Venus Mahavisha. Okay. But Venus Mahavisha is 20 years long. So you cannot just say you will get promotion because the people will ask you, sir, when will I get a promotion? Okay. You cannot just say you will get promoted one day. It can happen today, tomorrow, after six months, one year. So let's assume uh, this person is uh, running uh, which Antar Dasha should we assume? Let's assume he's running Sun Antar Dasha. Okay. Uh, Venus and Sun this person is running. That means Venus Mahadasha has just started. Uh, it is the second Antar Dasha. Now, <clears throat> uh, this is Sun is the eighth lord and the eclipse is going to be here. Okay, And Sun is placed in the sixth house. And we also know that uh, when tomorrow there is the eclipse, which is today, if you are seeing. So that means there is there will be some sort of a new beginning related to the sixth house. Okay, and if you remember my eclipse video last week, I had said if um, if an eclipse is happening, then you should check the planets which are in trines to this. Okay, to this house. So. Now here the second house and tenth house are trines to the sixth and they are empty. Okay. So that means uh, there is no planet which is specifically going to be impacted and the tenth lord is not involved. Okay. Mind transit, which means Venus is not involved. If you remember I said in the transit video, if the tenth lord is involved, it shows a change of career path or life path altogether. But now this is just a job change. Okay. So this can give a job change to the person or a new job. Um, of course, the eighth house is involved, so some displeasure can be there. The person may not get that level of position which he or she expected. But because it is Mahadash of Venus and the eclipse is happening here, this person can get a job. Okay. Now, the eleventh lord is uh, transiting in the third house, and this video is about Mars, which is essential to discuss the transit of Mars. So now the 11th house uh, when linked with the third house can show success in interview. So Mars had entered two, three days back. And if you, uh, if this person asks you that, uh, is it a good time for me to give an interview? You would say, yes, definitely very good time you can give. And um, if this person asks you, when is the best time? So then you should say when moon is transiting either Libra or Scorpio then is a then is even better for you why because then moon uh, will be in your 10th and 11th okay so these two houses are the houses of success and name fame when it comes to career so you know after like uh, 10 days or 12 days when uh, around this time when moon will be somewhere here there okay Scorpio or Libra so I mean depending on the degrees of the ascendant and the bhav chart so then this person can uh, give interviews and this person will have much more success okay so here mars is helping okay and now the fourth lord is transiting in 12th from itself which is the third house from lagna so uh, this can mean the person is using a lot of things which he or she studied in education in interview okay now why i'm focusing on interview because this eclipse is happening here in sixth house okay and the dasha is of venus we assume right so therefore, this can re be related to education and interviews. Okay, this will not hold true for everybody. Okay, so this is very complicated. It's not very easy. Therefore, uh, many people will type below. Oh, my son is in third house. Venus is in fourth house. What will happen? Uh, so it is impossible to say anything because uh, what if your dasha is different? What if your uh, ascendant is different? What if you had? venus in aquarius or libra here then the game would change then your life path would have changed okay because the eclipse is in trines to the 10th lord okay so that is how you have to analyze actually okay and now uh, so maybe th this person would have uh, studied a lot of things in his masters or bachelors so now this person is using this the fourth lord is going so the application of education is going to third house of interview okay so then we can say yes uh, if you are planning to give an interview it's a good time okay and if you can schedule the interview which many companies offer that you can schedule it on a time then you should schedule it when moon is transiting libra or scorpio okay there you go this is how you have to analyze okay and once this interview is done if the dashas are good uh, which is seemingly uh, good here in this case although with some dissatisfaction because sun is the eighth lot so then this Mars can give a feeling that um, 
you know, now this person has to uh, start some new studies also. Why, why new studies? Maybe the person has to undergo a new training in his new job. Okay. So then the fourth lord feels that, oh, now my old education is ending and I have to start something new. Okay. Eleventh lord. Eleventh lord can show your associates and your groups and your friend circle. Okay. People who uplift you, who make you a better person. So you might feel that now I will be meeting those people who will make my life even uh, better, who will enrich my life. Okay. So this is how you have to study this transit. So blindly if you just say oh third house this will happen that will happen no it doesn't work like that all right so i hope this gave you a good understanding of how to uh, judge this transit and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you liked it then uh, share it with somebody who is interested to know about mars okay and if you want to see more videos about mars i'll put it here okay and if you want a consultation please go to my website below what is there with you all the time just look to him and he will appear how do i stop the recording stop share stop